Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Raymond Oak Field House on the campus of Seminole State College. Would you please rise for the national anthem? Yes. The first game this evening matches the Cowgirls at Connor State College with your Seminole State College Bells. The starters for Connor State. Number three, Bailey Finley. Number four, Reaction Thompson. Number 13, Lauren Gutler. Number 24, Sandy Cole. And number 44, Nakaya McDonald. I want to welcome everybody out to tonight's game between Seminole State Bellas and the Connor State College Cowgirls. Seminole State College Bellas, a Friday. Sophomore from at the moment, number three, Summer Jones. Sixth freshman from Oklahoma City, number 13, Rachel Wallace. Five nine freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma, number 25, Michaela Dumas. A five two sophomore from Dell City, number 32, Will Goodlow. And a five eleven sophomore from Oklahoma City, number 44, Casey Richardson. But as a best power in the story shell, assistant Jordan Williams. You might send us a text, let us know if we sound okay. I'm a one man show, so we'll see what we can do here. <clears throat> Cowgirls. Control the tip. The starters for the Lady Bellas, uh, number three, Summer Jones. Number 15, Trishelle Quarles. Number 25, Makeda Dumas. Number 32, Brielle Goodlow. And number 44, Casey Richardson.
And I do not have a number 13 on our list, so I can't tell you who that was. Number 13 with a three. I guess they called that a two. Number 44, McDonald with the miss. Richardson with the rebound. Quirrell is taking it from one end to the other. Looks like it's going to be out on the Cowgirls. Good low with the ball. Over to Quarles. Over to Jones with the three. She hits a three. Again, I'm a one-man show, so try to do everything over here once. Four to three. Cowgirls with the lead. 7.22 left in the first quarter. McDonald, short, and I do not have a number 13. No. Casey Richardson with the three, tied up at 6-6. Donald with the rebound. Summer Jones with the rebound. Bellas with a turnover. Nice pass. Again, let us let me know how if we're sound okay, if the video is okay, and then I'll take that number off. Sounds good. Nine two seven zero. Thank you. Looks like they're going to get Dumas with the foul. I'll have my partner up here after a while. He's on his way. <laughs> Carter with the ball. Carter with the sh shot. Mrs. Richardson with the ball. Out to Quarles. Over to Jones. Carter with the rebound. Long pass. Off the fingertips of Jones. Out of bounds. I need another camera operator. Six six. 5.14 left in the first quarter. Richardson with the ball. Richardson with the rebound. Another rebound. Richardson with the two. Richardson. 
Richardson with the rebound. Out to Quarles. Over to Michaela Dumas, who's fouled on the floor. That's going to be on Thompson. That's her first foul. Ball into Richardson off the fingertips. Oh, it's out on Cowgirls. Nice play, Richardson there. <clears throat> Eight to six, Bellas lead the Cowgirls. Dumas called with the travel. Going to be Cowgirls ball. 4.32 left in the first period. Richardson with the rebound with the long outlet pass over to Dumas and an easy bucket. Okay, uh, Dumas. You got a block on the call. Jones was fouled. Hey, that number 13 for y'all? Who is that number 13? Number 13 is 25? Because I don't have a 13 on my list. I don't have a 13. Number 13 is 25. Lauren? Y'all just fly her in from Spain? Uh, she came this way. Yeah. Number 13's name is Lauren. We don't have a last name. Oh, she came from St. Greg's, not Spain. 10 to 7, uh, Bella's. Richardson with the three. Ball goes out on the Bellas. Carter with the ball over to Marshall. And I don't have a number 15 on my sheet either. Goodlow with the pass out. Summer Jones with the two. Goodlow is fouled. He's going to go to the line for two shots. Foul is going to be on Marshall. That's her first. That's team foul two for Connors. Goodlow misses the first one. Hits the second one. Thirteen to nine, Bellas lead the Cowgirls. Oh, 
Carter with the ball over to McDonald. Number 15 with a three. Summer Jones with a three, 16 to 12. Number 15. Got a block. Grover was fouled. Number 16 for the Cowgirls, and I don't have that number either. Quarles with the ball. Into Grover. Grover with the two. Pamela Grover. Carter was fouled by Quarles. Carter's going to go to the line, shoot two. That's going to be Quarles' first. Team foul three. And she makes the first one. Making it 18 to 13. Number four checks into the game, Thompson. And looks like Austin's checking in, number 22. Richardson with with the rebound, but McDonald steals the ball. Austin with the three. It's off. Weeks with the rebound. Grover with the two. She scores. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. McDonald with the three, it's no good. Weeks with the rebound. Up to Grover for another. Making it 22 to 13, four, three. Don't foul. And at the end of the first quarter, it's going to be your Bellas 22, the Cowgirls, Connor State 13. We'll be back here in a second. Welcome back to the second start of the second period. And uh, number 15 for Connor State is Marcia Reed. And it's going to be Connor's ball. Cowgirls take position first of the second quarter. Marsha with the ball. Austin with the three, she hits. Three 
Summer Jones. Again, I'm a one-man person trying to run the computer, the camera, and the scoreboard all at once and trying to talk a little bit. Jones with the with the layup. Richardson with the two. Making it twenty six to eighteen. She traveled. Tira Jones travels. And there he is. Richardson with the three, rebounded by number 23, Marshall. Got a block. God bold. Down on the pass, number 44, Casey Richardson, her first. At the line, 13 and 15 is not on here for them, but that's who they are. You can have that. I'll take this. Oh, you got bad writing. God bold? God bold, yeah. Can you hear me? Uh -uh. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you now. Okay. Welcome, Kenny. Kenny J. Sorry I'm late. No, you're not late. We're all real volunteers. Jo real, real job came first. Yeah, Grover passes the ball over to uh, – I don't have that 20. That's weeks. Oh, I was looking at the boys. Yeah, that's uh, Denbury Weeks. You probably got them all memorized now. Uh, I got them. I got a little bit of them. Let's see. Already threw up my text number. Got a couple texts. Said, said we sound good. Good. All right. Let's go look at the numbers for a while. I'll, I'll get back with you. That's all right. 13. She's not. She's on the. That's on the. That's Godbold. Godbold's got it top of the key. We're uh, pressured over by uh, Weeks. Weeks is Gardner. Swung over to four. That's Thompson. Thompson goes in, misses it. Rebounded by number three. That number three is Summer Jones. Summer Jones going down the court. Spots up for three. Doesn't like it. Inside to Richardson. Richardson puts it up. No, that's good. That's Richardson. Grover. Grover, no. Nope. I thought 44 was Richardson. It is. Oh, I thought that was 40. My bad. That was 40. My bad. See, look <laughs> at that. That's why I don't look right. I tried memory, and that wasn't good. Yeah. My bad. I apologize. Kick out. Number four, Thompson. that's Thompson. Rebounded by Qualls. Qualls pushes down the court inside. Blocked by, by Thompson. Thompson will penetrate. Pass a nice pass. In at number 25, Tierra Jones. She scores her basket. That's 32-22. Uh, that's how that is. That's Tierra Jones. She fouls. It's her first foul. Second team foul. Shooting uh, two will be number 40, Pamela Grover, not Richardson. <laughs> 23 and 21. Coming into the 
Coming in the game now, number 23 is going to be Ren Long and number 21, Hannah Ash from Dale, Oklahoma. That's where she's from, Dale? Yep. Cool. Small school, big, big deal. 31-22, Bella's lead here, 631 uh, remaining here in the second period. Carter on top of the key, guarded by number 23. That's Ren Long. Ren Long is putting the pressure on her. Inside, that's going to be a foul on Long. She's going to say take uh, shoot two. She was shooting. And Sadie Carter, 5'3", uh, guard from Roland, Oklahoma, is going to shoot two. And the first one's in. 31-23, Bellas, Bellas lead. And that's good for two. So that's 31-24. Bella's lead, 6-14 remaining here in the second period. Three-point basket is no good. Rebounded by Thompson. I think so. Uh, excuse me, that's by uh, Carter, actually. Three-point attempt, no good. Rebound by number 13. God bold, no good. Rebounded by uh, Bella's 21. That's Hannah Ash. Hannah Ash gives it up to 23. Ren Long, who finds uh, number 20. Uh, Weeks, who gets blocked, and it goes off her and goes out of bounds, and it's going to go, uh, I guess this is the Cowgirls, is yeah. that? The Cowgirls, Connor, right? Connor, Connor State Cowgirls. I, I knew the boys were Cowboys. I didn't. I just assumed. There's a cup of water right there. If you need it. Okay, I'm good. I, I had a bunch of water in the car. Thank you. Late on the clock there. That's Carter, top of key. Swings over to number 25, Jones. Jones drives the lane, spins, puts it up, no good. Rebound, uh, could have been a foul there. Rebound by the Bellas. She's been passed up to Richardson. Richardson is in. She finds Grover inside. Grover's in a jump ball situation with number 13. That's Godbold as number 10 comes in for the Bellas. That's uh, Castleberry. Alicia Castleberry is her name, right? Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Castleberry has it, hits the 15-foot jumpers. Good. And the Bellas lead 33-24 over the Cowgirls. 5-08 remaining here in the second period. God Bowles looks to three. She doesn't like it. She's going to give it to the corner. That's number three. Uh, Penley, Penley gets it inside. Nice basket inside by number 25, Tierra Jones. That's good for two. 33-26. Richardson gets the top of key. Three-point basket's short. That's Long who shot that. That's rebounded by the Cowgirls, number 13. God bold. Uh, retreats. She was going to penetrate. Retreated back to the three-point line. Gives it to Penley. Penley doesn't uh, look like she's going to shoot the three. She ain't ready. She's looking inside. That's going to be a foul on the floor. And I think it's going to be against Long, I think. Yeah, college is a little easier than high school to figure out who's a foul against. You, yeah. missed, you missed a heck of a game the other night. Did I? Oh, three technicals and a fan ejection. <laughs> <laughs> on us or them? Uh, two on Meeker, one fan injection on Prague, and one technical on Prague. <laughs> that bad, huh? Uh, they were terrible. Their officials were downright terrible. It was, but they were equally terrible on both Did sides. We, that was the game where they shot a three but didn't get credited for a three. Is that right? Uh, that was the same team, but yeah. that wasn't uh, this weekend. This weekend, Meeker put it on Prague this week. So back to Richardson, top of key. She's looking for Grover inside. She had her sealed. That's over number 13. That's Quarles, who drives to the lane. Left-hand layup is good. 35-28, 348 remaining here in the second period. Bellas have a commanding lead by seven. K 
Kicked out to the side to Penley. Penley penetrates about south side to number 44. That's McDonald who gives it back. And number 24, Carter, has it. She finds uh, Godbold in the corner, way off of the three. Rebounded is good by number 24, Sadie Carter. And it's a 35-30 ball game here with 318 remaining here in the second. Inside. Loose ball. Picked out a double dribble. I'm surprised they didn't call that. Number 24. Carter going out. Penley goes up. And it's hot off the glass. No good. Richardson rebounds it. Gets it up to uh, number 13. That's Crawls. And that's a way basket. Way off. Rebounded by Richardson. Richardson spins the line. And it's in. Nice rebound and put back for number 44, Casey Richardson. And it's 37-20, or excuse me, 37-30. Seven-point leads back at 2.30 remaining here in the second. Loose ball picked up by number 21, Hannah Ash. She finds... Uh, Quarles, a little loose pass though. Back up to Richard. Richard shuffles her feet. Yabba dabba doot and Shooter got called for a travel. Oh, but they're going to say it's a block on number 44, uh, McDonald. As she goes up, and McDonald's hurt. She hit the ground hard. Yeah, she might have bumped her head there. I thought Richardson traveled though. She kind of. Yeah. Yabba dabba doot before she went, did it, you know? Let's hope she's okay. Trainers are going out. Looks like she's uh, sitting up. At the line for the Bells, Casey Richardson. Are you free tomorrow night? Yeah. Uh, yeah. May use your stuff, though. Here, is it here? Yeah. There's no sense for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I can, I can bring mine, but I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, I'll have mine. All right, so the first free throw is good. It's eight-point lead as uh, McDonald. It looks like uh, she's still looking to be evaluated by the Seminole State uh, College trainer, it looks like. Uh, 44, that's Casey Richardson. She made her first free throw. She's up for the second, and it's good. And it's a nine-point lead for the Bellows with 2.10 remaining here in the second. Yeah, we were, we're, we had a uh, we had the, the, trim, the terminal. The Seminole Trojan baseball game was canceled because of the weather. So that's what I was going to do tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be icy. I'm not even sure the high school game is going to be going. Uh, that's number 24. That's Carter, top of Keith. Long pass over to Penley. Uh, she's going to penetrate. It's going to find, will try to find Carter. And Deflected Carter by gets Hash. it. And 25, uh, the number 25 is uh, not on here. So there she is, Tierra Jones. Tierra Jones. Richardson uh, with the rebound. rebound. Yeah, Richardson with the rebound back to uh, top of the crease, Quarles. Number 32, uh, we'll say that's good low, came in for Seminole Bellas. And that's the Castleberry puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Ash. Uh, she falls and gives it up to Carter. Carter is going down the court. She finds Penley. Penley's going to penetrate, kick it into the corner. And that's Tierra Jones. She walks, she and traveled. that's going to be a turnover. One fourteen remaining here in the first half. 39-30, Bella's lead. Inside. Nice Richardson pass. misses. Rebounded by... Uh, Thompson, Thompson finds Carter. Carter's going to dribble on the court slowly. Sets up the offense at the top of the key. Finds it cutting. Uh, that's number 25, Jones, who was a trailer. 
And that was an easy basket. That was, that was zero was defense by the Bellas. A good pass. 39, 32, 50 seconds remaining here in the first half. Over two, good, uh, number 32, that's good low. That is good low. She, uh, she walked. Yeah, she that's, traveled. That she did. That's a turnover. Seven-point lead for the Bellas here. Under a minute to play. Had it up to nine. This is the farthest I've seen since yeah. I've been here. I came in uh, it late. It was a close game. Late in the second. Yeah, it was a close game in the first quarter. And uh, Carter's going to set the offense up. And McDonald for Connor, she she was a starter. Gotcha. She didn't look like she's going to come back in, though. She she was being helped off Gimpy. That's Thompson with a three-pointer. No good rebound by Richardson. Richardson's got Ash. 15 seconds. Ash is going to give it back to Quarles. Quarles looks, surveys the deal. That's Richardson. She she will shoot a three there. She does not. Six seconds. Quarles is going to penetrate. Kicks it back out. That's going to be no good. But a foul looks on the rebound and by it looks like a foul against number four Thompson. It's going to stay on the floor. You got point six seconds left. I don't know what she can do with that and uh, maybe one a tip in one and one. Oh, it is a one and one, isn't it? Yeah. That's the fifth foul. So uh, that that will be. Oh no, it's not the fifth foul yet. That was timeout. So oh, that, oh yeah. It's only the fourth foul. You got to throw it. That's a friendly clock there. <laughs> That's a friendly clock. So the number 21 Ash will shoot. That's no good. And the Bellas lead at the half, 39-32. We'll be back live here in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. We'll see you then.
Welcome back to the start of the third period, and I was corrected. I want to apologize to everybody. We are the Bells. I had been saying Bellas, and I told Kenny Bellas, and he yeah. said it was Bells, and I apologize. It's the Seminole State Bells. All right, so. That's all me. Now, I wish my wife was here because she could tell me I, I'd be right for once, you know. <laughs> and uh, also, I wanted to pass along is that Seminole State College is doing a uh, contest for tuition assistance. And if you are, if you come up here and just sign up for the for the free throw oh, contest, sorry. if you just come if you come up here and just sign up for the free throw contest, you'll get a fifty dollar tuition waiver. If they draw your name out of the hat, then you'll get a hundred dollar waiver. And if you make the free throw, you'll make I think it's a hundred fifty or two hundred dollar. That's a no waiver. brainer. Why wouldn't you come? If you're gonna come here as a senior next year, you need to come up here and sign up just to get a fifty dollar tuition waiver anyway it's on our facebook page you can go look at it but it's only good for here it's a Seminole state college uh tuition it's a it's a fundraiser promotion for uh tuition all right so we start the third quarter the bellas now the bells bells the bells uh they missed their opportunity to score but the cowgirls they've cut the lead uh their deficit down to three it's 8.49 remainder. They had a basket by Carter and Jones uh, for the Cowgirls. Richardson's at the top of the key. She's going to look inside, and uh, that's number 25. Uh, that's Dumas. And Dumas, uh, she had a good game last time I was here uh, playing Takawa. Nice little post player down low. 39-36. Okay, I got the scoreboard right. I apologize. Uh, all right, here we go. I got one Carter goes inside. Carter's number 25. That's to Jones. Jones has uh, top of the key, and then – she pivots. She finds nobody. And back over to Jones. Jones puts it up. Jones gives no luck as Richardson grabs the rebound and gives it up to uh, Quarles. And Quarles is going to push it down the court. I did talk to our trainer, and she said that she thought that uh, McDonald was going to be fine. Good. I think she got stepped on. She got she got stepped on. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Dumas penetrates. Gets up. Basket is good. Nice little spin move. Uh, the lead is up to five for the Bells. 41-36. 7.56 remaining here in the third. Got a five count here. They're going to be close. They don't pass it. There. Penley passes it over to number four. That's Thompson. Thompson looks at the three. She's going to take a two. She's over the line. And they're going to say it's a foul Offensive against. Foul. Yeah, it's a rebounding foul against number, I think he said 10, but I'm not sure. Well, 13. That's, that's her God first. Bold. That's, that's God her first. Yeah, that's her first foul. First. Uh, team foul here in the third. Five-point lead for the Bells. I think the last game we played, we played on the road, and I think it was a two two overtimes, and we won. Oh, Just like job. 120 to 118, something Dumas like that. Banks off the glass. The bank is open here in Seminole late at night. As and it, you know what? It's bank, it's bank night. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and bank is night because the glass was nice. So here we go. 43-36, 7-13 remaining here in the third. Leads back up to seven. It was the, the Cowgirls cut it to three. But a couple defensive stops and, a, and Quarles is going to score here. She's going to go coast to coast. Oh, oh nice. She passes it to Dumas. And they're going to say it's on the floor foul. It was the uh, right move. I mean. It was nice. She gave it up. Unselfish. Yep. And I'm not sure if they called against Penley or they called it against. They did. Penley's got the first foul. Second team foul. McDonald's coming back in. I'm glad she's okay. It looks like number four, uh, Thompson's kind of got a little limp to her, but she's going to uh, pick up her step there at the end. She'll be all right. Ball's going to be the inbounder. Long pass out to Richardson. I know one of the girls for uh, Connors that's not on our list. Jones, for three points, no good. Rebounded by McDonald. McDonald will give it up uh, to Carter. Just from St. Gregory's. Oh, that was a nice hustle play. Saint, the girl from St. Gregory's is yeah. not a, from uh, Semi on Seminole? No, 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 for Connors. For the Connors. top, I think the top one, uh, uh, 13. Godbold? I think. And the other one's from Tulsa. That's what I'd get. Uh, what I'd gather. I got Murray Reed. All right, but Dumas almost had a saving. Uh, uh, it's good effort. Yeah, great effort right there. Carter inside the penalty. Back over to Carter. Carter shoots the three. That's the oldest inbound trick. That should have been a foul on Dumas. 
Uh, the oldest trick in the book there because step in bounds comes in as number 13, Godbold missed it. And that's a rebound by Richardson. Richardson gives it up to Quarles. Quarles goes down the court, sets up the offense. Uh, Good low inside to Dumas, and it's going to be a foul on the floor against number 25, Tierra Jones. And I believe this is going to be Tierra Jones, the second foul, and that's going to be the third team foul. It's on the floor, so it'll be uh, taken out underneath the basket by number 13, Quarles, and Quarles will uh, find Joe. I believe that's Summer Jones. Yes, it is. And inside of Richardson, Richardson's going to spin inside the lane, puts it up, no good. Uh, rebound is by the Cowgirls. Cowgirls push it up the floor. And that's Tierra Jones. Nice spin move in the back. Skit, and that's 43-38, five-point lead for the Bells. Six minutes left here in the third. That's Summer Jones. She will knock it down from there. Richardson, Richardson shoots it, and that's good. All right. Nice shot by Casey Richardson. 46-38, Bells lead, 548 remaining here in the third. She's got range. Yes, yeah, she's got lots of boost. She, uh, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not as familiar as you are. Uh, you know, the captain-wise, I think she's kind of the leader of the floor. When she's in, she kind of takes control. I, I, I do see that. Yeah. So if she's not the captain, she needs to be the captain because she, <laughs> she is definitely the leader out there. Usually, you find a point guard or to, to do that. That's yeah. your little leader. But I see her. I see her talk more than anybody. And that's Goodlow over there being guarded by. Uh, God bold and good low kicks it out to Dumas. Dumas will penetrate. Jump stop. She she did not jump stop correctly. That's for miss. because uh, she could have been called for a walk. She kind of hopped on two or on yeah. even steps. Yeah. And uh, usually you've got to land on both feet. You got another turnover. Uh, but it is a turnover anyway, since eight point lead for the Bells. 520 remaining here in the third. Not the biggest lead that I've seen so far since I've been here, but it's an eight point lead. It was up to nine at one point. Then it got cut down to three. The Cowgirls cut it down to three, and the Bells have worked their way back up with good defense and some unfortunate opportunities for or against the Cowgirls, and that basket's going to be good as number uh, 13, Godbold, will shoot and score, 46-40. Good low. She, she had her pinned. She could have went. Screen set, three-point basket, no good. That's going to be rebounded McDonald. McDonald's going to be ch challenged by Richardson to jump ball. And it's going to stay Bell's ball. Reset the shot clock. Inside to Richardson. Watch her spin here. She does. Nice move. And she's foul. Has an and one opportunity here. And... And McDonald's going to pick up her second foul. And for the and one opportunity is Casey Richardson. That's the fourth team foul on Connor, so we're going to be going to the free throw line after this. Swish. And that's is good. Nine-point lead for the Bells, 438 here in the third. That's Penley, gives it up to Carter. Carter tries to finish nice defense by Jones. But McDonald back swings it over. Uh, no good for the three points. It's going to be knocked out of bounds, and it's going to stay Cowgirls ball. I thought the ref was going to take the rebound and go over the layup there. <laughs> he did Usually kind of they try to get out of the way. He didn't even try to get out of the way. No, he just – he didn't, did he? That's McDonald, power dribble in good, it's good. 49-42, nice power dribble basket by McDonald. Richardson, Richardson, no good, rebounded by Carter. Carter will push it up the floor. No one seems to get down the court, set up in a corner. They don't want to shoot the three, apparently. They're not a good shooting three team or something. Inside, move, nice basket. That's a nice job by Thompson there. 49-44, leads down to five. For the Bells. Was up to nine. Jones has it, finds Richardson. Richardson inside of Dumas. Dumas fakes, puts it up, blocked. 
Nice defensive effort there by number 13, uh, Godbold. Be a timeout on the floor taken by the Bells. 30 second timeout. 30 second. Right now, there we go. Welcome back. All right, so we lied to you. It was we thought it was a 30 second timeout, as that was the first initial uh, call by uh, the coach, but she changed it to a full 49 44, 316 remaining here in the third. Oh, that's gonna oh, should have shot the three right there. It was a lot open. They were trying to work it inside. Donald. Gives it to Carter. It's blocked. Nice job by Summer Jones. Oh, give it up to her. She does now. Jones will shoot the three. No good. Rebounded by Richardson. Put back is good. It's a 51-44 lead for the Bills. That's Carter. God bold. Trying to get inside to Thompson. She got on top of the key. Back over to Penley. Penley's got McDonald. She doesn't give it up to her. Now they do. And she just uses her body. She goes in. She got, draws a foul. I thought she was just out of control. I thought so, too. And, and I think I think it's Grover, right? That's Grover, number 40. Yeah. Yeah. She, she thinks she was in position, and I, I kind of thought so, too. She might have been in the – I'm not sure if they do the lane. The, the, I – uh, so McDonald's going to shoot two. That's Grover's first foul, first team foul of the third quarter. And that basket attempt is no good. Basketball didn't lie. Nope, basketball don't lie. Basketball don't lie. There we go. Looks like we got uh, Austin coming in for Pendley for the Cowgirls. McDonald misses the second. And that's Godbold. I thought Godbold knocked it out of bounds there. That yeah. The 13. That's what I thought she did too. There we go. That's number 24 taking the bat. That's Carter. She can take it out. She gets it to Thompson. Thompson looks, uh, doesn't like it. Thompson's got some height on her. Yes, yeah, she does. Her and Grover about even. You said that's Austin, right? Number 22. Yep. And that's Jordan Austin. McDonald with the fa or with the rebound, rebound and putback. And she's slow to get up. If she does get up, she I don't did she gets she might have got stepped on again. Yeah. McDonald's hurt again. So it's 51 46, 158 remaining here in the third. You know, McDonald, she 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 kind of came through the lane, and and uh, it looks like she lost her balance. But she, you know, maybe someone stepped on her foot, and she right. just fell. You know, and, um, I'm not sure exactly what happened. I just thought she was a lot of control there. Definitely off balance. Either way, we hope she's okay. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Okay, we're gonna mute the so we don't get the volume on here, or to get the music on here and get trolled by YouTube. So we'll be back in a second.
Okay, we're back. McDonald's off the floor. I'm not sure who came in for her. But uh, I, I can find Looks like she re-injured herself again. Yeah. 25 Talk, come back in. Yeah, I talked to the trainer. She said she thought she got stepped on, but looks like she might have got stepped on again. It's Tierra Jones that came back in for McDonald. Godbold gives it in to Jones. Jones has doubled, but she fights through and lays it up. No good. Rebounded by Richardson. Richardson gives it up to Quarles. Quarles is going to go coast to coast here. She's too fast. Lays it up. The basket's good. 53 46, 130 remaining here in the third. Again, if you're in Seminole, come out here and sign up for this free throw contest. And for just for signing up, you'll get a waiver, $50 waiver for tuition. If you're a senior, you can't beat that. That's free money. Austin, Jordan Austin shoots a three, and the basket is good. 53 49, four point lead. Yeah, it's a no brainer to not come oh, yeah. in there and do that. If you're even thinking about coming, even yeah. if you don't, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't oh, yeah. hurt. Come out here, sign it up, get your waiver, and shoot a free throw on a 15 foot yeah. shot. Well, I mean, just for signing up, just for putting just your, for name, put your name on the, on the a, deal. Jones takes a long two, no good. Oh, Rebounded by. Stay in there. Uh, that's Thompson with a long rebound. That's Carter with the ball. She can give it to Godbold. Godbold, uh, Godbold f uh, fakes the three. Gives it out to Austin, who already hit one three. Is in and out. Rebounded by uh, Richardson. Richardson will give it up to Quarles. 30 seconds remaining here in the third. Four-point lead for the Bells. And that basket nice. is good. Three-point basket is good. Weeks. By Weeks. And it's 56-49. And Back up to a seven-point lead. When you hit the three, so many things open up. Oh, yeah. We put that pressure on there, and then Richardson will have an opportunity down low. And Thompson, step back. No good. And at the end of three, the Seminole Bells lead 56-49 over the Connor State Cowgirls. We'll be back here in a second. There you go. Well, welcome back to the fourth quarter. Uh, Cowgirls possession here as Carter uh, lead the Cowgirls offense down by seven. That's awesome. She's already hit one. She does not get the other. Rebounded by Quarles. Quarles has She's Summer Jones wide, wide open. open. And she was fouled. No call. And uh, Glover resets the offense with Richardson. Richardson drives. Kicks it back out. Back inside. Grover doesn't get it as it's tipped around. Richardson fights. And it goes out of bounds, and it's going to go the Cowgirls' way as the Bells will turn it over. Some moans over there. <laughs> I'm telling you, you should have been at the game the other night. It was wild. Well, oh, we had our – I know you had the good – We had our Seminole State uh, Trojans uh, baseball banquet that night. Grover and picks up a foul. <laughs> The Seminole, Seminole State College Education Foundation got a $75,000 donation by the Kinslow family, which oh, is great. It's great. totally awesome that is great. For, the, for the new sports complex. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Big donation. Yep. Thank you, Kinslow family. <laughs> 23 Marshall came in for the Cowgirls. That's Carter Penetrates. She's going to push off, and she's going to get an easy layup on that push off. She had her arm there, but she's extended. That's a foul. No call, though. 56-51, uh, 8.58 remaining. 
Can't extend the arm. Inside of Grover. Grover's going to spin here. And she the lane puts going, it up. She likes going to the right a lot. Yeah, she sh all she had to do is fake to the right, go to the left, put yeah. up with her left hand. Yeah. Ball was tipped out of bounds by number 25, uh, Tierra Jones. Spells ball. Back to Richardson. Jones is cutting. That's Summer Jones. Back out to Quarles. Quarles inside to Grover. Grover loses it. Can be turnover. And Carter's going to go coast to coast here. Her and Quarles go up neck and neck here. No good. Rebound is going to be loose. And then Carter somehow comes up with it. She swings it over to Marshall. Austin, Marshall uh, does not take the three. She should have took the three there. She's taken three or four of them. Yeah, nice hustle by Richardson. Will she get it? She does. Turnover by the Cowgirls. Richardson Euro steps, and she's fouled on the way up. Yeah, I thought Austin should have shot that. She was wide open. Yeah. Maybe she's not feeling it and got, didn't want to. Yeah, I don't know. That's, fouls on number 24. That's Sadie Carter. That's her first foul, first team foul here in the fourth, and Casey Richardson will shoot two. She knocks the first one down. Extends the lead back to six. It was as much as nine. And that was no good. Rebounded by Carter. Carter could be back-to-back -back layups there. She does not get it. Uh, Thompson somehow got it. The rebound, she put it back up. It was too hard. Richardson, she, she may go coast-to-coast coast here. She does. And Casey Richardson. Casey Richardson. It's eight-point lead for the Bells. She went coast-to-coast. Coast. You, you got to stop the see, ball. You don't see it, right? You got to stop the ball. You got to stop the ball. Cowgirls didn't get in her way. She went coast-to-coast. Inside to Thompson. Thompson's going to spin move here. Yeah, there she goes. I knew that was going to be a nice shot there. 59-53 in favor of the Bells. Again, we, I apologize. I've been calling the girls the Bellas. It's the Bells. It's all my fault. <laughs> Kenny had it right. Inside to Richardson. Richardson's going to pivot right here. She's going to use the body. That's a jump ball. And it's going to stay in the possession of the – uh, Seminole State Bells. <laughs> Tried to get it to Jones. It was Quarles, which has a turnover. As Carter was smart and stole the ball. Saw the full the thing. She lays up. Nice block by Richardson. She gives it up to Summer Jones. Now, if Summer Jones does a step back three, I'll be crazy. But she doesn't. She's too hard for the long two. Rebounded by uh, number 25. I believe that's uh, Tierra Jones, and she's going to go down the court. Gives it up to Thompson. Thompson sets it back up, gives it over to Marshall. Marshall sees an opening. She shoots a little five-foot jumper, and it's in. And it's a 59-55 lead for the Bells. Four-point deficit uh, for the Cowgirls to cut the lead. Or well, I mean, it's kind of been five. Like, I mean, it's like they've never been four. in the game. And you look up, and then she hits a three. But then you got Casey Richardson, who just has no fear, no no uh, lack of confidence, and she just knocks down a three, 62 yeah. 55. And it's going to be a timeout taken by the Cowgirls. Just when you're trying to give a little praise to the Cowgirls for coming back, Richardson bangs a three. I mean, it's. Okay, we'll be back here in a second.
There you go. Welcome and back. Welcome back. That's right. It's 625 here in the fourth and here in the last quarter of the game here. Uh, Richardson just just strained a three like it was nothing. Un like, unconscious. Yeah, just that it was only a four-point lead. Now she got them back to the seven. You know, I mean, you think about it. She you miss misses it. That could have been bad. Yeah, they come down and hit a two or three. Now you're within one shot. Got to travel on Tierra Jones. I, I, she did kind of hop there. Nice. Summer Jones. 64-55. 5.52 remaining here in the fourth. Just like that, it's back to a nine-point lead. Yep. And it was down to three four. at one point. Yeah, and four three. here in the four. It's four. Here in the four. Four in the fourth. Inside. That's Thompson. Back out. That's Marshall. She brings it back into Thompson. Thompson's going to spin. Shoot it. Rebounded by... Uh, the Bells, that's Summer Jones who has the ball now. Quarles is going to go all the way. Lays it up. Nice left-handed move. 66-55, largest lead of the game uh, since I've been here. That's 11-point lead for the Bells. Jones inside of Thompson. That's going to be stolen. That's Summer Jones. She stops at the free throw line, lays it in, and it's oh, in oh. and out. And off the hands of Grover, and it's you'll see Ren Long come in. And that thing went Quarles. all the way around and went out. Oh, I don't know how it missed. I, th I thought it was a beautiful shot. And Quarles is she's hurt. She's going to go see the trainer. She must have twisted an ankle. 66-55, 11-point lead for the Bells. Thompson wants it. She's called for it. She puts it up, banks it, no good. And it's going to be a foul against the Cowgirls, and I believe it's going to be against number 25, Tierra Jones. It's and just their second team foul. And it's her third personal foul. 11-point lead for the Bells, 4.38 uh, remaining here in the fourth. Inside of Grover, Grover goes up, no call there, late foul call as Tierra Jones is going to pick up her fourth. And shooting two is the freshman from Pauls Valley, Oklahoma, number 40, Pamela Grover. And it's no good. This is the first, 66-55. And that looks good. No, oh, back of the rim, no good. 66-55, Bella's lead. 4-22, Penley cuts to the basket, and that's gonna be a turnover as Carter didn't read her cutting. And that's a turnover for the Cowgirls, and it's gonna go to the Bells. Another nice crowd here tonight here at uh, Dixie Woodall Court. It's bank night. Bank night. Wide open. Summer Jones for three. Bingo. 69-55, 14-point lead for the Bills. As Pinto would say, it's a thunder money ball. Yeah. It's a Trojan money ball. And if they hold this up, it's going to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner for <laughs> like Brian Davis says that. Oh, I can't stand that. It drives me nuts. Jones has it. She oh, nice move by Jones, just couldn't make she it. She was triple teamed. As Summer Jones gets the rebound, and I thought she was going to lose it. But she finds Ren Long, but it's going to have a timeout called uh, by the Seminole State College Bells. And it should be a 30-second timeout, and it is a 30-second timeout. So I think our next broadcast is going to be on Thursday night. I'm not for sure who's coming to town. Basketball? Basketball, yeah. Okay. Wednesday will be on, of course, depending on weather, but we're supposed to we have uh, softball at 1 and 3. 
And we, supposedly we have the issue resolved with the Internet over there at the softball complex, so we should be good to go. Good. They well, did. I'll they have did to tune in from uh, Oklahoma City <laughs> off of Meridian there, and yeah. uh, they did. Up. They did find a switch that was only allowing point zero one upload. Oh, that's not good at all. No, they were amazed we were getting anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, no kidding. So Mark, Mark did some troubleshooting, and appreciate that, Mark. So we should be good for a uh, softball. Dumas had her girl sealed. She was working hard down there. And they're gonna say offensive foul. Uh, number 25, Dumas, I, th I thought she did a nice job sealed, but when yeah. she tried to rotate over there, she did kind of overly aggressively kind of put her. Yeah. She's going to get in position. Yeah, she did. She does a nice job down there. I like her. She's one of my favorite players watching. Her Richardson, I think, are my two favorite. I like watching Grover, too. She she works. looks like she works yeah, hard. Yeah, she works hard. Not that I don't like other girls. I'm just saying I just got yeah. this things they do is the yeah. stuff I like. Uh, the, you know, that's the extra little effort sometimes. I like a talker. I like when Richard comes in, she just kind of commands the floor. Penley's going to lose the ball, going to pick up Summer Jones. Summer Jones uh, gives it up to Ren Long. Ren Long pushes it up the court. And Weeks. I don't know how that didn't go in. Carter should be called for a walk. She pinned that ball up and she was the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> Thompson, long three, no good. Rebounded it off the Cowgirls, so it's going to be Bell's ball. 239 left in the fourth quarter, 69-55. Casey Richardson is going to come in for uh, Pamela Grover. 239 remaining here in the game. And I believe the Bells are going to win this. Unless they just totally collapse here in the next two minutes and 30 seconds. Weeks inside to Dumas. Dumas spins. Powers up. Nice fake move. She's got to put it back up. Three Five seconds. Seconds, three seconds. It's going to be three seconds. That's a good attempt. Someone should have cut it long before uh, before that. You know, once she started pivoting around. Yeah. Got to move. Got to move without the ball. And it looks like Quarles is, uh, is better. Got a little bit less limp walking here to the locker room. Oh. Yeah, that Marshall push. just pushed down Dubas like no. Penley shoots, no good. Should be over the back on Thompson. Penley goes up as we foul on Richardson. She just went straight. She was set. Yeah. I don't know. It's defensively, she, you know, she should have done differently. I don't know. Maybe they thought she was leaning. That's only her second foul. That's the third team foul here in the fourth. 14-point lead. I guess you can go ahead and let that foul's a foul, right? So, <laughs> two oh eight remaining. Penley shoots two. She misses or she makes the first. It's down to a thirteen point lead. And knocks it down the second. And be a thirty second timeout taken by the Cowgirls coach, Jamie Fisher. And we'll be back in a second. Welcome back. All right, after the quick timeout taken by the Cowgirls, who cut the lead, uh, the Bells lead, down to 12. Uh, oh, they're going to say that she can't come in. That's a legal substitution as Ren Lang will have to come out. I don't know what happened. Unless she's got blood on her uniform. Uh, looks like number 10 is going to come in. That's Castleberry. She's going to come in instead. Oh, she must have blood on her uniform or something. I don't know. 
I don't know what happened there. Oh, she before the horn. Okay. Oh, she got her pocket pick. That's a jump ball. Should go to the yeah. She should go to cowgirls. And now uh, there you go. Ren Long will come in as Castleberry was more than like a in there for like ten seconds of that. She did play earlier. Not sure if she scored since I've been here. Uh, Carter has it. Lefty gives it in to Tara Jones. Back up to Ren Long. Ren Long has it over to Summer Jones who loses it out of bounds. Turnover. I think you'd kind of like to see him pull it out a little bit and run some clock. Yeah. Well, you can only run 30 seconds, so. That's 30 seconds. That's one thing. We haven't had a shot clock violation. No. Nope. Carter will have it. She should shoot a three here. Let's get set up for some three. You're down by 12. She opts to temp penetrate. Nice, easy layup. Nice job by Sadie Carter. Here comes the press. And Weeks will come down the floor. I like the press. And they broke it with ease. Should have been goaltending. She hit that. That's a foul first. We're going to call it a jump. And she got fouled first. Now they're going to say a jump. But it's going to stay Bell's ball. Summer Jones over two weeks. Weeks will try to penetrate and then turn the ball over again. It's another turnover. I think we've had three turnovers in a row, I think. Yeah. But, uh, you know, fortunately, it's only down to a 10-point lead. They had a, they had a large 14-point lead. It's down to 10. Penalty penetrates. Nice job by Richardson to steal it. Up ahead is Summer Jones. Summer Jones lays it in. Bingo. And it's up to a 12-point lead with 51 seconds remaining here in the ball game. Bell should win this with ease. This is a good overall effort. Nice job tonight by the Bells. That's God Bold. She's got it. She gives it inside to Tierra Jones. Tierra Jones, she's going to spin the other way. I knew she was going to. Nice job by Richardson. Rebounded by number 24, Carter, who gives it out to Penley. Shoots a three. No good. Rebounded by Casey Richardson. Who's, she may, hey, she's gone coast to coast before. She just dribbled through around two uh, defenders. Euro steps and gets a foul. Nice job, Casey Richardson. From sideline to sideline. Side, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma native. She's a sophomore, 5'11". Uh, plays bigger than 5'11", and she dribbles the ball. Uh, not as good as a guard, but she can handle the ball a little bit. And she can advance the lead back up to 14, or 13, I should say. No, it'll be 14. She'll be up to 14 if she makes them both. Nails the first. And nails the second. 14-point lead for the Bells. 19 seconds left. Godbold kicks to the corner. That's penalty, and penalty's little five-foot jumper is good. Six seconds left here in the ball game. They're just going to hold it. And that will do it. And your Seminole State College Bells win 73 to 61. And we'll be back for the men's on a different broadcast here in about 10 minutes.